text carousels are great, but learning how to add photo and video can make them even better. Welcome to day 28 of content repurposing tutorials where I've been sharing 30 days worth of time saving content ideas for all of the busy creators out there. Today, I'm going to show you how to make a carousel that incorporates photos and videos. We're going to head on over to canva.com and type into the search bar carousel. Now we're going to look through these carousels and find a template that we like that we can continue to modify. Just a quick reminder that if you see the crown that is a pro plan, but they have plenty of them without the pro that will be free for you to use. If you have the free plan, we're going to pick this one right here and then we're going to continue to customize. Next thing we're going to do is go ahead and go to the brand and you just go ahead and just shuffle through your brand colors. You know that if you have the free account, you can have one of these brands. And if you have the pro account, you can do as many as you want to, but find a color that works for you. We're going to go with this one here. I'm going to go ahead and search through and find the slides that you like and the ones that you don't necessarily care for, you can go ahead and get rid of. So I'm going to go ahead and get rid of this one right here. And I'm going to further customize this one with my brand colors. We'll keep the yellow theme for now. And maybe I only want to use two or three pages in this one right here and the rest of them can just go. So I can click here. I can click right here and then click shift and then right click and delete the six pages. So I can only work with the three. And now what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and add a photo in here. And in my brand colors, I already have a photo of me. I'm just going to put this here in a place that makes sense. Remember to always go back over and change any of the information. So you can either delete it or just change the information. And on the next slide, I'm going to add a video. So one of the great things about Canva is that it has videos and photos in there for you as well. So what you want to do here, you can go ahead and use the search bar. You can scroll through and see if any video relates to what you're speaking about. I'm going to use this since it represents race. And then I'm going to go ahead and place that right here. So that's how to add the photo and video inside of the carousel. So that's just the basics of adding the photo and video. Now I'm going to go to my other example where we're going to export as well. So I have this here and I've made my photos and I have my video and things of that nature. So one of the things that you always want to do when it comes to exporting this is take note of the pages that have the video and the pages that have just photos because we have to export them differently. So my first one, two, and my fifth page is just a photo. So we're, when it comes to sharing, we're going to download those as a PNG or a JPEG. If we were to download this right now, the video would be one minute and 32 seconds, but we want to do that differently, especially when we upload it to Instagram. So I'm going to press share and I'm going to press download. And now I'm going to go to PNG. Okay. And then when it comes down to it, I'm going to unclick all of them and I'm only going to download page one, page two, and page five that do not have videos. And I'm going to go ahead and press done and download that to my computer. Once that is complete, we're going to go to our video pages and ensure that they are the length that we want it to be. So I'm going to click on this video right here. You see it's 28 seconds. We're going to click on this here and then we are going to minimize. So you can go ahead and scroll through the area of the video that you want and you can see how long it's going to be right here. So I don't mind it being about four seconds and I'm going to press done. Now this video will only be four seconds long. Then I'm going to go to my next video and I'm also going to click on it. This is 49 seconds. So I'm going to scroll down and make it a shorter video as well. Other ways that you can edit the video is you can mute it if it doesn't have any sound. So I can go ahead and press that and now it will not have any sound if, or I can turn it down if I need it to. But for this particular video, I don't need any sound. So I'm fine with it being all the way off. So you can click here to mute it all the way. And there are a number of different ways that you can go ahead and continue to edit the video should you need to. So in the edit video in Canva, they've gotten so advanced. You can even remove the background. You can add filters, things of that nature. Change this, uh, the duration again, as I mentioned earlier. You can crop, you can flip it. You're not limited on what you can do with the video that you put inside of this carousel. But now what we're going to do is we have to export these two videos separately. So page number three, I'm going to go ahead and download it. I'm going to once again, unclick all of them. We're going to go specifically to page three and press done. Now for page three, I'm going to download that and it's going to go to my downloads. And then I'm going to go ahead to page number four and I'm going to go ahead and press download. We're going to choose page four, press done. We know it's an MP4 video and press download. One of the things I want you to also make sure you take note of is this is a 1080 by 1350 with size for the actual carousels. So you can do 1080 by 1080 or 1080 by 1350. I like 1350 because it gives you a little bit more uh, areas to play around with when you're posting it. 
Now that we have that downloaded, you want to make sure that you go ahead and unzip the file that Canva did so that you can have your pictures and videos. So I'm going to select them all, I'll press one, then I'll press the shift button and go all the way down. I'm going to right click and then go to share and airdrop. And then I'm going to choose iPhone. Great. Let's head on over to my iPhone. Now we have these files inside of the phone. And now we're going to go over and upload them into Instagram. We'll open up Instagram. We're going to go to the plus button and we're going to go and scroll over down here to post. Now what we want to make sure that we do is we add this in order. So I'm going to click on my first page, which is going to be this one. Then I'm going to click on these two boxes here and now I'm going to add the rest of them. So I have page one. This is going to be page number two. This will be page number three. This will be page number four and this will be page number five. Make sure that you add those in order. Okay, and also make sure that you tap the first picture first so the orientation will be the same. Now we're going to press next. We can scroll through to make sure everything is in order. If you happen to not have it in order, you can just hold it down and slide it into the place where it belongs. All right, hold it down and slide it to the left or to the right where you know that the order is correct. All right. Once we have that there, we can go ahead and press next. Once it's uploaded to your profile, what you'll see here is one of five. So that means there's one of five different templates in your carousel and you can just scroll over to see the various ones and your video ones will automatically play as a part of this particular series over and over again. Also make sure that if you want sound on this particular carousel that you don't mute it like I did, but I didn't need any sound for this one here. Using carousels is a great way to get your message across and coupling it with photo and video is even better way to make sure that your message is received by your audience. In this video, we learned how to create a carousel with photo and video inside of Canva. We chose a Canva template and further customized it, and we had different slides that had videos and pictures. Now to export, we made sure that we exported all of the picture graphics first, and then we individually exported the slides with videos. After we did that, I went ahead and I airdropped them to my iPhone where I upload them into Instagram in order. I hope this video has been helpful for you. Please comment below for the next photo and video carousel that you will make next. Remember, in the description below, you can grab the content calendar and journal where you can take notes of all your favorite tutorials from this series. I'll see you tomorrow.